Okay guys, so day four lockdown, and we've got alignment today. So the basics of alignment for your general stock shot, which I hope is a straight as possible. So we're gonna talk about the shoulder alignment. We're gonna talk about the shoulder tilt. Okay, we're gonna talk about the alignment of the pelvis and the slight tilt in the pelvis as well, okay? So you can use a doorway. So we've got the famous kitchen doorway here. Gonna use the alignment stick. You can use any kind of rod. You can even use a golf club, but I've just got a basic alignment stick. You can buy a pair of these sticks, a pack of alignment sticks for about 20 quid online somewhere on Amazon, 15, 20 pounds. I definitely get yourself some alignment sticks because they are really, really good. I mean, it's one of the best training practice aids you can have in the bag. If you leave them in the bag accidentally, they're not illegal to be hanging out the bag. So you can use them when you're practicing at the driving range to do various drills for weight pressure over your feet, for alignment, for putting, for all sorts of things. So get yourself a set of these. So the alignments, and we're gonna talk about the basics here of, of, of your shoulders being square, so your shoulders being parallel to your target line. And as you can see here, this sort of position and not having shoulders open. And we're also gonna be talking about here, and I'm demonstrating the tilt in the shoulders. There should be a slight bend into your trail or right hand side at, at address because of where the right hand posi is positioned below the left hand. Using your okay. alignment stick, you can actually put a couple of elastic bands around your upper arm, and you can actually then strap the alignment stick to your upper arm, so you've always got your upper body posture. Okay, I'm gonna use <clears throat> club as well. Got Karina's club here so we don't smash the chandelier. So, got your alignment here. Using the doorway, you can then move yourself in your new posture, so bending forwards from the hips about 32 degrees. And we bend forwards from the hips, having a little bit of neck bend in there and then we can just move up to the doorway and we can find out where our square shoulders are. So we know whether we're open because we're gonna feel that right hand side rod touch the wall and the left hand rod peel away from the wall. So we can see our alignments of our shoulders. And then when you're in a good position, you can hold your golf club, you can sit your arm down, move up to the, and get yourself square on so you can feel that shoulder line, square onto the wall, press it against the line, and then I've got my basic shoulder alignment there. Okay, so that gives you a feel. That feels quite comfortable for me. But if I show you and demonstrate where I see most golfers when I meet them in my studio, shoulders are over here. So you're gonna feel really awkward and feel like your right shoulder is kind of drawn quite back. That means that your normal setup is incorrect. Okay, so okay. now we're gonna talk about shoulder tilts. Okay, so we're gonna Allow that so we get these square shoulders. We've come from the doorway, we've got square shoulders. Let's now move into position so we can feel square shoulders. Now we want to just drop the right side a little bit lower than the left, a couple of degrees, five degrees at most, and then that ball position in the center for your short irons, and then progressing the ball position forwards with the longer irons slightly lower right shoulder as you push the ball forwards left in your stance to the driver and then we're going to keep that shoulder square and just let that right shoulder sit a little bit lower and this is where i see most errors made because ball position so far forwards along the arc with the driver and i see golfers doing that doing this turning the shoulders pushing the hands this way and keeping the right shoulder too high and then getting the shoulders open at address and then chopping across it like an axe chopping into wood okay we don't want to be the mad axe man we want to have a swing from the inside hit those nice soft high draws um, with your driver those big bombs so right side is right shoulder slightly lower than the left progress the ball forwards keep the shoulder square introduce more side bend okay so onto the pelvis again using the doorway hold the rod against your belt line there you can move into the doorway, 
to get square pelvis and see whether that feels awkward. I usually see pelvis positioning quite good anyway. Um, so we can bend forwards from the hips, the 32 degree angle, bend forwards from the hips, shuffle forwards towards the doorway, get a nice square position there. And then we can hold our shoulders square, pelvis square. And then we've got a good line from feet, knees, hips and shoulders. Everything nice and square. Pelvis, I don't mind having a little bit of push left with the pelvis. So you can see my left hip pushing against the doorway here as you introduce that little right side bend with your shoulders. That's going to help you just put a little bit more pressure on that left leg, push down on that left foot a little bit more, and also help you get into that position that position that I'm always giving you videos and tips on, and that's that pressure shift into the left side and that lateral motion of your body, upper and lower, and making sure you get in front of the ball to get your divot in front of the golf ball so you can compress the ball more out of the middle of the club face. Okay, so pelvis alignment then, as we then push the pelvis a little bit left, square on pelvis, shoulders square, right shoulder slightly lower than the left, and then we're in a perfect position to make our golf swing. Okay guys, so that's your alignments, square on alignments. So all we're gonna do for draw is stand, drop that right foot a little bit back, drop the right shoulder with the foot as well. So the right shoulder and the right foot sit back from the, uh, from the left foot. And then for fade, we're going to take the square unit, drop the left foot back a little bit, and then we're gonna have the left foot further back than the right, drop the left shoulder back, so it's all square on as well. And you can see that there. So I just wanna show you here the alignments uh, with your ball position. So when you draw the ball and the stance starts to close up and you bring your right foot back and right shoulder back, you need to be careful because that moves the ball forwards in your stance. So you need to shuffle towards the target a little bit with your draw stance and vice versa, when we fade the ball, it moves the ball back in your stance, okay? So you need to shuffle away from the target to realign it to middle, left, left half, or left heel, left big toe with the different clubs, okay? So they're your alignments when you're drawing and fading the golf ball. You've got a square on alignment with shoulder and pelvis. You've got a tilt in the upper body, a slight shift, press of the pelvis to the left, a tiny tilt in the pelvis as well. So your basics of alignments that are gonna give you the best, best chance and best amount of space that you need to create space for that inside takeaway as that club moves around you to the right and you make your backswing. Anything that's over here is gonna make the club move out and up and make you chop across it, okay? There you go, guys, lockdown four, and that's alignments and tilts today. Thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate your support with the channel. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos and click on the notifications icon so that when you log on to YouTube, you see my new videos when I release them. Thank you very much. You guys are great.